Andrew Adams. <laughs> I'm Pete Nish. And I'm Andrew Adams. <laughs> and we're playing the Which One of Us is Andrew game. <laughs> I feel like we could restart this in a more concise fashion. My name is Pete. My name is Andrew. And I'm Rob. And, and Mike and Andy are currently um, in Atlanta. We're, we're working on uh, a record together. It's going to be a hip-hop record. No, it isn't. It's, uh, it's going to be really... <laughs> Kind of gangster rap, but fresh. It's gonna be fresh. It's gonna be some crazy stuff, and there's some all kinds of twists and turns. So that's why they couldn't be here. <laughs> a lot of this stuff, I'm. I guess I just write. Like I said, it's not very complex. It's not really meant to be. Um, but I'm writing it probably because I wasn't able to say it in person, face to face, to who I wanted to say it to. Yeah. And um, with the exception of some, but but you know, so I think that uh, performing. You know, is, is just one is one way to finally get it out. I think when you get into a, a fun or a uh, creatively conducive situation with other musicians that think similarly, um, even though you're playing the same song, you're not necessarily playing it the same, and it's this kind of active, changing thing, and you kind of have to stay on your toes. That you know, when you mm -hmm. hear. When we hear, you know, Mike on drums do something, you know, it's it's got a it's got to lean in a different way where it's it's almost a, uh, you know, it's physics where for every action there's a reaction and all that kind of thing, and I think it's uh, it's really important to to keep it lively and to keep it interesting. I think that writing is something that I um, I actually don't do as frequent uh, nearly as frequently as I used to, but that's that's almost like meditation. I think when you're, and I guess performing could be considered that way too, but, but I think that you're, at least the way I write, um, if, I'm, if I'm actually going to turn out a product, a song, you know, uh, it's kind of, um, I don't know, I just got to go to some place and sit there for a while and, and kind of just rediscover the instrument and, and tell it I, I'm kind of operating seamlessly with it and then stuff just kind of happens. Performing is almost it's 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 like self-actualization. It's they're they're actually in a meditative state. They're one. They've reached oneness or whatever, you know. Um, and I think that to some degree that's true. Sometimes it's like that, and other times it's kind of like a it's kind of like a party. that like if you put him on a soccer field he'd be like out there like watching butterflies go by and like like rubbing playing in the dirt and trying to squash ants and stuff like that it was something that kind of moved me I guess and even at a young age so uh, I, I kind of was motivated to learn more about it and keep playing and finally got a guitar when I was 16 and that's kind of all I did um, I had friends that kind of got way into drugs and and uh, I didn't really want to do that, so I just locked myself in my room and uh, argued with my parents about it and 
played guitar. We decided to get all of the, uh, what, what we refer to as the Bonky Brothers uh, together it's for one um, extraordinary group of performers. And uh, at first, I don't know what we called it, but it became Pete Nish and the Motions. We I had several other band names that I think were significantly better. Person. Which ones? Well, there's Acre Kiki, Boy. Jonas, and the Hangdown. Kiki, Jonas, and the Hangdown. Acre Boys Club, <laughs> Phenomenal, Acre Boys Club. Yeah. There was, oh, Porktooth Johnson and the Willie Nillies. Porktooth Johnson and the Willie Nillies. still might be the best, one. I think. <laughs> yeah, although Kiki, Jonas, and the Hangdown really, good as well. it scores points with the ladies, so it depends on really what mood you're in. I think. We're, we're literally just a group of people that hang out together all the time anyway, and then to start playing music with one another has been really interesting because in any group of friends, no matter how big or small, there's, you know, there's, everyone kind of has a role and everyone has their sort of, uh, their niche within the group and their own, like, personality, and they kind of fulfill that, that role for everyone. And, you know, <laughs> musical influence and, and uh, you know, playing aside, I think it's cool to see how that, those, those personality traits and that idea of, of roles and stuff uh, translates <laughs> almost seamlessly <laughs> onto the stage. Um, it's really cool. It's, it's like interacting the exact same but uh, in a different way, you know, it's like having the same conversation but in a different language and it's a lot of fun. We have our own language. We work it out. Kind of. We do. Like, what is a bonky? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be in the Akron Boys Club. <laughs> to know. What's the Akron Boys Club? I don't know. You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be in it to know. Words can't describe it. You know what? I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> You know, we're all kind of, we're just five best friends, four best friends, five best friends, this time three best friends, uh, listening to African tribal music in a wine bar, um, and uh, still playing music on the, uh, you know, when we can, and uh, life is good. I'm up with a lowdown. I'm up on a lowdown. I'm down with a low up. We're I don't down. know what either of those things mean. <laughs>